Morgan with Event Answer here, and today I'm going to be sharing with you three different party treats that you can make for a baby shower. Now this is part four of my Woodland Baby Shower series, and I'll be wrapping up with all of the food items that I made for this party. So we'll be talking about acorn kisses, I'm going to be making a garden herb cheese hedgehog, and this trail mix bar and how you can customize these things for your own party. So let's get right into it and I'll show you what I did and how you can do it for your own party. To make these adorable little acorns, you're gonna need a bag of Nutta Butter Bites, a bag of Hershey Kisses, and a sandwich size Ziploc bag. Now I took a handful of Hershey Kisses and in 10 second increments in my microwave, just melted that till it's a warm consistency and put it in the corner of a sandwich size Ziploc bag. I'm just gonna cut the corner here and basically use it like a piping bag. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the nicest Nutter Butters that you have, so like the broken ones, you can just make those go away. So pick the nice ones, put just a small dollop of the melted chocolate and then stick your Hershey Kiss to that. And it's gonna take a little bit for that chocolate to harden, so feel free to just set them on the plate and allow them to dry. Now I'm leaving the other side of my Nutter Butters plain, but I have seen some people take a chocolate chip and put that on the opposite side of the Hershey Kiss. So you have a larger chocolate on one side and a tiny chocolate chip on the other side to give it a nut look. I opted not to do this because uh, I thought they looked just fine this way, but feel free to take chocolate chips and add them to the other side if you like. The Hedgy Cheese Ball is actually adapted from a garden herb cheese ball recipe that I got from RelandrasKitchen.com and I will have that recipe linked below so you can find all of her different cheese ball recipes but I turned this one into a hedgehog. So I started off with eight ounces of cream cheese and I just cubed it up and put it in the bowl. Then I added finely chopped green onions and my seasonings for this included garlic, black pepper, seasoned salt, red pepper flakes, and then to loosen up the mixture, added a little bit of milk and finally some Worcestershire sauce. I gave it all a quick blend with my hand mixer and then added in some sharp shredded cheese and then blended it one more time before we're ready to make the hedgehog. To form the mixture into the hedgehog, I first laid down a piece of clear plastic wrap and dropped my mixture right into the center of that and then I just loosely folded the plastic wrap around the cheese. And you don't want it to be super tight because you want to be able to move the cheese into the shape that you want. And you're kind of going for a teardrop shape here. You want it to be fatter and taller on the back side and coming to a point on one end because that will be the hedgehog's nose. If you want to give it a little bit of a curve down to the nose, that's okay. Or if you're just going for a teardrop, that works too. So once you're done shaping, you're ready to go ahead and put it on your platter. I just plopped it right in the center here and used the plastic wrap to do a little bit of touch up moving it or doing some last minute reshaping. That way it didn't stick to my hands and I'm ready to start decorating it. So you can use anything that's black for the eyes and the nose. I used raisins here but black peppercorns or olives would also work really well. So the cheese ball recipe called for some smoked almonds to be crushed on the outside of the ball but I'm going to leave those smoked almonds whole and put them in an upright position all along the back of the hedgehog to make his little spikes. I adorned the rest of the plate with my favorite cracker pairings and a cheese knife, and this hedgehog is ready to party. The last part of this food table is the trail mix bar, and I love how versatile this can be, depending on the audience that you have at your party. It can be super healthy, it can be super fun. Take it and run with whatever ingredients work best for your audience. There's a lot of different ways you can display the ingredients for your trail mix bar. So be open to all kinds of different aspects. But one thing that I love was these paper bag containers. So these are your standard sandwich bags and seen like a lunchbox. And I'm just measuring five inches up from the bottom and cutting off the tops. And then once you open the bag, you slowly start to roll over the edge. Now don't try to take all of it at once. Do a little bit and go all the way around and keep rolling it down until you're happy with the height and the look of those paper bags. Together with the galvanized tins and the metal scoops, this came together beautifully as a rustic table setting for our woodland baby shower. 
I hope you found today's projects inspirational. It was so much fun making these treats for the baby shower. And if you go ahead and make these or do a variation of it, let me know. I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. Um, how did it go for you? What did you learn? Did you try something else that worked better than what I did? I want to hear about it so we can all grow as a community and learn how to do events better. So thank you so much for joining me for this woodland themed baby shower series. Uh, if you missed any of the videos, I'll have them in the description box below so you can go back and watch all of the videos on how to put this together. Thank you so much for joining me today and I look forward to seeing you in a future video. Bye!